Hey everyone, it's Justine and I am doing a video today featuring this beach themed card and I am using the stamp of the month from So Suzy Stamps. Now So Suzy Stamps has a monthly stamp club where you get a single stamp set or sometimes there's bonuses each month. If you want to learn more about the club just check out my link below. Today I'm going to be using the April stamp of the month. Now what's really cool about the Stamp of the Month program is that you can sign up for the whole year or you can sign up for three months to give it a try. Now today or in April this starts the next three months so if you want to sign up for the whole year you'll get all 12 stamps or all 12 plus bonuses or if you sign up today for the three months you can get April, May and June stamp. This is April stamp here and it's a beach theme. Our theme for the Stamp of the Month is coastal so all of our stamps are going to be beach and sea themed. So Suzy Stamps also has a bunch of other stamps that you can buy to coordinate with those stamps. However, these Stamp of the Month are exclusive to the Stamp of the Month kit buyers. So to get started, I'm going to be stamping various things out of this theme or this scene here. Now me personally, I'm not a massive fan of scene stamps because I like to create my own scenes. So I'm just going to be stamping partial images from the stamp and putting them all together. So all I want out of this at the moment is the palm tree. I'm going to color it with Copic markers and I'll let you know which Copic markers I'm using but I am going to speed you up for time's sake. To get started I like to grab a couple of markers and I like to kind of put them onto my paper and write which ones they are just to see which markers I'm going to end up using. So I decided to start off with YR24 to color the whole thing. I went in with E55 as a shade, E13, E15, and E18 to darken up and add some layers. I slowly went back through the colors again, ending at Y24. For the green, I'm using YG07, G09, G05, and G19. So I'm coloring everything in the YG07, which is a really bright color. Then I'm going in with G19 to darken up the areas that would be considered shadows. And then I'm going in with G05 and G09 to extend those shadows and then topping it off with the G09 again to blend everything together. Just creating a small shadow using C1 and C3. Next up I'm just going to cut out my palm tree. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be using three colors from the Ink Bites from So Suzy Stamps and I'm going to smush them here onto my craft mat. The three colors I'm using are Tropical Teal, Mermaid Mist, and Dewdrop. I wanted to combine some teal but also add some blue in. So to make a watercolor splash sort of on the card, I'm just going to wet my surface using a brush just randomly over the watercolor paper. I'm going to add my wet brush to the color and just add some color from the inks. And they blend quite nicely together. It is essential to use watercolor paper though because I did try it with regular cardstock because I wasn't adding too much water and it did not blend nicely at all. So you just want to clear up your area and let everything dry. Now that everything's dry, I'm just going to stamp a partial sentiment. So I just want to stamp the sentiment from this stamp now. So I've masked off an area using some masking tape so that the ink only gets on the sentiment. And then I'm just going to take off the masking tape to remove that extra ink and stamp that onto my card. I did get a tiny piece of black ink onto my stamp so I'm just going to clean that off with a baby wipe. I'm going to stamp that onto the left side of the palm tree. I kind of have my palm tree, it's not in place yet but just there for so that I can size everything and make everything work. I'm going to cut down my watercolor panel here. I want to make it 5 inches by 3 and 3 quarter inches. So I'm just going to trim various parts off the sides to get that measurement. The reason why I'm doing this is I want to add a card base and some patterned paper behind it. So I need to make this quite a bit smaller than my card base and half an inch to be exact smaller than the card base and a quarter inch smaller than the patterned paper so that everything can show up as a nice layer. So I'm going to be using some patterned paper. This is really old patterned paper from close to my heart and I had this on hand. It's sort of a beachy color and sand color but I wanted to um, distress the edges to make it look sort of rough and vintage looking. So I'm grabbing a distress tool here. Um, this one I'm not sure if they still make it so I've linked to the Tim Holtz one in the subscription or in the supply list below sorry. Um, so it still does the same thing it just looks a little bit different. I'm just going to glue all these pieces together now. I'm using sea glass cardstock from Simon Says Stamp as my card base. The 
patterned paper from close to my heart and then my panels. So I'm just going to layer them on top of each other to create a really nice panel, a nice layered look. And I think that looks really nice as a beachy look. So you've got that sea glass, um, similar to like a tropical blue of the water, and then I've got the sand, and then I've got my actual theme. I'm just going to fold my card base over here and line it all up so that it lines up at five and a half inches. It measures five and a half by four and a quarter. I ended up realizing after I had folded it that my beach cardstock here was a little bit crooked and too far down, and then not, and it was too close to the top. So I just um, tore it off and then re-glued it and I think that added just a little bit of more texture of that beachy look adding the distress edges and then having it sort of a little bit crumpled I actually like the way that that looked it turned out really well and then I'm just going to add my scene here on the front but I wasn't exactly finished I needed to embellish a little bit and I added some vellum underneath the palm tree so I added some of the sequence here from the ton stamps I'm using a pick-me-up tool and some mono, Tombow Mono liquid adhesive to glue those onto the card. And then I just peeled off my palm tree here and then stuck it to some vellum. And I tore the vellum to fit around the palm tree, again adding that distressed rough edge look that matches the patterned paper as well. And then I just glued that on with some Tombow Mono, making sure to glue only under the palm tree so you don't see the glue. And I glued that on top of my little watercolor scene. And Alright, that's the end of today's video tutorial. Here are some pictures of the card in natural lighting that you can take a look at. If you're interested in any of the supplies or more details, click here to visit my blog or supply list or down below in the description. Over on the right, there's a subscribe button to subscribe to my channel, or you can click on the moving video to check out my last video from So Susie Stamps. Thanks so much for watching everyone. See you later.